If you're experiencing significant tear out when using your hand plane, there could be several things going on. It's best to address them one at a time and note any improvement after each. The first and what should be the most obvious thing to try is to hone the blade. Believe it or not, most of the issues that my students have with their planes are the result of using a dull blade. This is why it's so critical to understand what a sharp blade really is and to keep your blades super sharp. Once you're sure the blade is as sharp as it can be, try reducing the depth of cut. The thinner the shaving is, the less strength it'll have. When a shaving is extremely thin, it doesn't have enough strength to tear out the fibers. A study published in 1994 by Japanese professors Kawai and Kato found that by reducing the depth of cut to 0.05 millimeters or about two thousandths of an inch, tear out was almost completely eliminated even when planing against the grain without a cap iron. The next thing to try would be setting the cap iron as close to the edge of the cutting iron as possible. The Kawai and Kato study also found that by placing the cap iron within 0.2 millimeters or 128th of an inch from the edge of the cutting iron, again, tear out could be almost completely eliminated even when planing against the grain and now taking an even thicker shaving. To set the cap iron this close, oh, put the cap iron in place and tighten the screw by hand, but not all the way, just snug it up a little bit. And I'll use my thumb to gently nudge the cap iron forward, trying not to go past the edge of the cutting iron as I do so. I'm looking for just a tiny little glint of that cutting iron projecting past the edge of the cap iron. If you have trouble setting the cap iron that close to the edge by eye, you can use a, a 0.2 millimeter or 0.15 millimeter feeler gauge or a thick piece of paper as a spacer. So you're just gonna put the blade down on a piece of hardwood, slide the feeler gauge up so it sits against the back or face side of the blade and then just gently slide your cap iron into place. Then you can go ahead and tighten the screw. You can see here what 0.2 millimeters from the edge actually looks like. It's not easy to see, but you can barely see a glint of reflection in front of that cap iron. Finally, if you're still having problems with tear out after all this, Try increasing the angle of the front of the cap iron slightly. Doing so will force the shaving to curl over more abruptly and break off before it has a chance to tear out the fibers. Hold the cap iron at an angle that is about 80 degrees or so from the horizontal, so not quite vertical, just a little bit off. I'm just gonna make a couple of passes. This bevel does not have to be big, so just a pass or two is gonna do it. One thing I wouldn't worry about too much is the mouth opening of the plane. Trying to use mouth opening to control tear out is a, a very touchy technique. If the mouth is too tight, then it's going to clog with shavings as we discussed in the last video. However, if it's not extremely tight, in other words, if it's not tight enough, it won't do anything to control tear out at all. So while an argument can be made that a tight mouth will be helpful in preventing tear out in some situations for some hand planes, the research and my own personal anecdotal experience concludes that a tight mouth is nowhere near as important as cutting depth, cap iron position, and cap iron bevel angle. If you've tried all these solutions and you're still having problems with tear out, you may just have a difficult board. Sometimes, no matter what we do, a board just doesn't respond well to a hand plane. In these situations, it's best to try another tool like a scraper or sandpaper, or you might just have to live with a little tear out in the finished surface or pick a different board. Unfortunately, we just can't win them all.